perfect pitch on a perfect day in this stadium. Martin Tyler here, along with uh, Alan Smith, to provide the comments and the analysis. Our action comes from EFL League Two. Absolutely looking forward to this one. Oh, what an arena we've got here. Perfectly suited to football and two very noisy sets of fans. What a backdrop that should be to what on paper should be a, an entertaining match. For Crew Alexander today, looking at the lineup, he's got all the components in place, hasn't he? The manager for the pressing style of play has been a feature of his team. Yep, and uh, many an opponent has found it difficult to cope with. If your touch isn't spot on against this aggressive type of closing down, you're going to lose it in dangerous areas. This is the away team lineup. Well, it's 4 4 2 for them today, but we think the middle four might be a diamond, Alan. Yeah, and it gives them a bit of solidity in the middle of the park. And I think uh, the onus is on the fullbacks to provide the width in this shape. Thank you, enjoy the game. It's the start of the game here. They read the opponent's mind and got the ball. It's a good ball, they could be in. There it is, first goal of the game. Coming this early, the promise of more to come. He saw the gap down in the bottom corner. Boy, did he find it well. Well, that is the sign of a clinical finisher. Somebody that knows where the goals are, they don't have to look up. And that has opened the scoring. 1-0 here. To Green. Played back. Guided through. In towards the far post. Wonderful reflexes to make the save from close range. And in it goes. Able to make the interception. It's a strange miss, that one, Alan, because he looked as though he was going for accuracy. It was totally inaccurate in the end. The precision was uh, nowhere to be seen there. A quiet moment here. Let's go to Alan McAnally, who's got news of a goal in his game. Alan? It's a goal for Swindon Town. 30 minutes played, 1-0. Great to have Alan McAnally out and about for us. And he's brought us right up to date again there. That's out of danger there with that clearance. And Jones. Should be a chance. And it's in the net for the goal. Well, it's point blank range. But you've got to be there to score. You've got to be there to miss it as well, but he didn't. Well, it looks simple, but this lad has got a great instinct of drifting into space, being in the right place at the right time. Let's have another peek at that goal. Just widen the margin here to 2-0.
He's read that, hasn't he? And made the interception, made it look easy, actually. A goal from uh, Northampton. It's a goal for Crawley Town. 22 minutes played, 1-0. Thank you very much, Alan. Guiding the pass through. Well, the goalkeeper's got there, but only just. And they've spread it out wide here. Well, let's see what the ref's going to do. Well, decisive refereeing here. He reached for the card straight away at that offence. Well, you could argue he's been a bit harsh there. Maybe uh, another ref would have just had a word instead of booking him. No nonsense defending, it was needed. Another turnover in play here with that interception. The much travelled Alan McAnally is out and about, and he's at a game where there's been a goal, Alan. It's a goal for the home team. 30 minutes played, 1 1. Well, right on the spot there for that story, Alan McAnally, of course. Shoots. Oh, what a tackle to break up the play. And now a throw in. Well, as a player, this is never nice to hear when you're getting boos from your own fans, but they can't wait to get off the pitch. Now Kirk. Well, the referee might go back and speak to the offender there, but he's let the play go on with the advantage rule. The hosts have controlled possession here so far, but when you look at how they've played, no real surprise that they are trailing in this match because they haven't asked enough of the opposition, haven't really moved the ball with the same kind of slickness that they normally do. Well, they've got him behind here. A good place to win the ball back there because the pressure was starting to mount and the interception was timely, to say the least. Still progressing on the break. Far too close across to the keeper. It's Smith. You like to see a team playing the ball forward to open up the opposition, but the defending was good there by the opponent. The yellow card's coming out. He knew it was a booking, and now he's shown him the yellow. It was one of those who was on the borderline. I think he's a bit unlucky, perhaps, to get booked for that. Well, they could have been opened up there. But the interception the stopped that. They can be quick on the break now. Time. He's got some room out here in the wide position. What an important interception that was. Half time now, and 2 0 is the score at the break. Not quite good enough so far, Alan. Look at that, that speaks for itself. The lack of shots and... And here we go, the referee's blown his whistle and we're off for the second half. Good interception. Goal news involving Oldham. It's a goal for Oldham Athletic. 49 minutes played. 1-1. One, one. Top work, Alan. We're back here now with Alan Smith. Lovely ball. That's an important clearance. Oh. That's cut out. Let's give you some transfer news. It involves Liverpool who have confirmed that this deal is completed. Yeah, about 40 million they've invested, and I don't think they'll have many regrets about that. Should be an interesting first few weeks. Now Kirk. Looking to use the full width of the pitch in this attack. It's not really creating enough pressure keeping the ball here. Although it's easy on the eye, it's not easy on the scoreline.
Good play to... Uh, a Clear opportunity! Saved, but not decisively. Oh. Goal news now from Port Vale. It's a second goal for Port Vale. 64 minutes played, 2-1. And he could get away here. Can he do it? Behind the defenders and onside. Brilliant goal. Well, this could be a, a real turnaround here. They've given themselves a chance of at least catching up. Yeah, and this goal, you know, I think it's changed the body language, the attitude of the whole team here, and I'm expecting a real comeback. Cuts it out nicely. Thank you. It's going to be a substitution here for the home side. It's good work here in terms of possession. Can they find the final pass? No real surprise, the visitors with less possession here. But what you would say about this team is the way that they've used the possession so ruthlessly at times. It's been a joy to watch textbook stuff from them. Really in the clear now. Now he's taken it off his toes and hung on to it. Yeah, no knockdowns there for any lurking strikers. Good goalkeeping. Throw in coming up. Well, Alan, here's the substitution now. Well, he scored himself a goal, and uh, you can't afford to take off players when you lose in a game like that, so a bit of a mystery, this one. That's something for him to chase. He's in on goal. That's even better play to stop the chance. We can go to Alan McAnally now for news of a goal from elsewhere. It's a second goal for the home team, 80 minutes played, 2-2. Top work, Alan. We're back here now with Alan Smith. That's an unforced error, really, with the pass. Room now out of the wing. This should wrap it up. And there it is, jumped up. Took it with great aplomb, I'm sure getting the first goal gave him the confidence to grab the second chance here. Three one the score line as we restart the game. Now it's five minutes to go. Out to a wide man who's got room. Goes the board. There'll be two added minutes. Untidy work. He's given it away. That's it. Final whistle. 